We think we might have raccoons and babies in this house. This is a clear indicator of how this raccoon's been accessing this roof. Downspouts are the most common route they'll use to get on the roof. And you can, you can see here the paw prints that it's left behind. It's Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle's using a thermal imaging camera right now. 13, 14 degrees uh, is what the normal temperature of the ceiling should be uh, with it being cold outside. And then we've got a hot spot at 27, 28 degrees. Uh, so we suspect that that is where the raccoon and the babies are. So when you do a, a baby search for raccoons, Timing is very important. We have a pretty good idea of exactly where those animals are so we can go directly to them without any interruptions, without giving the mom an opportunity to move them. See here where the raccoon hasn't touched, it's about a foot and a half deep. But over there, you shouldn't be able to see those rafters, all of that insulation is completely destroyed. I clean all that out, get rid of that. So in addition to helping locate where the raccoons are, it can also help you locate uh, damage that the raccoon's done in the attic without even having to go up there. So these are the four grumpy little guys that we took out of the attic. They're gonna, they go in this heated baby box now and we'll put them up on the roof. We'll get the mom out and she will relocate them to one of her other den sites.